When certain events take place in your payroll account, the system will automatically email your customers. The settings on this page let you choose with template or disable the email altogether for each email that the system will send out. Test mode, the first option at the top, uh, when turned on will, instead of emailing your customers the email, email you all of the emails. So if you're just using payroll to test, we recommend leaving test mode turned to on so that you can see the system generated emails that are going out. When you're ready to go live, make sure you turn this to off so that your customers will actually receive the emails instead of you receiving them. For each of the emails, if you'd like to receive a copy, you can enter your email address right here in the CC field. And you can put a couple of email addresses in here if you'd like, separated by commas, and each person will get notified for the emails that they're set to. By default, all of your emails will be set to default template. These templates receive automatic updates every time we make changes in the system, and if you leave it set to default, uh, then anytime we make a change or an upgrade to our emails, you'll automatically receive that. Otherwise, you can set this to do not send for any of the emails that you wish to not send at all. Uh, if, for instance, you're using our MailChimp integration and you want to send welcome emails through MailChimp, you can set the payroll welcome email to do not send, and the emails will not be sent when a customer signs up. Alternatively, if you've created a custom email template, you can select that custom template, and that will be sent instead of the default. Now, custom templates don't receive updates from us, so once you create a custom template, you'll be responsible for updating and changing any of the code in that template. We recommend default template for people who aren't comfortable editing HTML, as our templates are responsive and work on mobile devices, etc. But if you want some extra customization, you can edit any template and you can set it as a custom template here. At the bottom, you'll see Send Email Via as an option. By default, we send from a payroll address and use your email address as the reply to. If you'd like to send from your own domain, so that payroll's address isn't in the email at all, you can come in here and set your SMTP settings. Whoever your SMTP provider is uh, will give you a set of settings as a host, username, password, uh, and a port number that you can put in here to send emails. And then you can put a custom from address and from name, um, as long as that from address is approved as a sending address by your SMTP provider. For more information on SMTP and how to set that up, you click this link here and you'll learn more about your SMTP settings and what your options are to send from your own domain.